Hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. Mr. and Mrs. Traveler here. Hello, Claus Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all you lovebirds. It's Valentine's Day every day for us. So we don't even <laughs> need to celebrate. But it is Valentine's Day for people out there. It is Valentine's Day. So in the spirit of Valentine's Day today, guys, we wanted to talk about uh, six of our most favorite uh, romantic destinations um, that we have been to. Now, uh, obviously there are a lot of other places out there in the world. I mean, we'll do like an honorable mention at the end uh, that we have not been to yet, but these are the ones that we have been to. Yes. We decided to come up with this super fantastic list a Mr. Traveler and Miss Traveler exclusive list of places that you can go and be romantic with your boo, your partner, your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever. If you're dating, this is perfect for you. Yes, indeed. So anyway, guys, and we'll go through our little criteria as we go down each island destination. Let's get started. Number six. Number six. Key West, Florida. Key West, Florida was where we had our honeymoon, and back in the day, about 20 years ago, because <laughs> we celebrating our 20th anniversary this year in July, we celebrated our honeymoon in Key West. It was very romantic. It was indeed. Now, uh, so some things about Key West. When we got married, we were some we were kids. We were young. <laughs> so you know, right out of high school, we spent a lot of money on the wedding itself. And so it didn't leave us with a whole lot of money for the honeymoon. But we decided to go to Key West. And it was affordable for us at the time. We're not yet cruisers back then. No, we weren't. And I wish we wouldn't have spent as much money on our wedding because what really matters is the marriage. That's true. But we were young and we were kids. That's a whole <laughs> another video. <Yes. laughs> so anyway, guys, so let's talk about Key West a little bit. Um, uh, Key West is accessible a couple of different ways. Um, you can fly into Miami and do the drive from Miami to Key West, which is about a five-hour drive. It is a very romantic it's drive. It's very romantic. I recall one year not to, before we moved here to Florida. Before we moved to Florida, we actually drove that drive. Drove that drive, drove that drive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. <laughs> we did that drive um, four times in a year. And we weren't even living here at that time. We loved Key West so much that we decided to just go there when we felt like it. And we were living in Michigan. Yeah, so it is an absolutely beautiful drive going down there, taking your times through the keys. Each key has its own uh, flair, its own uniqueness to it. Um, and Key West is, is not exempt from that. The other way you can get there is they do have an, an airport. Um, that has direct flights from many major cities, but they they do uh, fly in with s smaller airplanes um, The larger airplanes don't go in there. So sometimes you have to fly to Miami and catch another uh, Jumper plane over to Key West. But when you get there, it's so romantic. They have sunset cruises And you can even watch the sunset on a cruise. Yes, the sunsets are absolutely beautiful met from Mallory Square on Key West It's a very small island uh, but how the best to describe it? It feels very, very tropical, but yet still in America, right? It's still, it feels like the Caribbean, but you're still in America. It's, it takes you out of your reality. So you feel very safe. It makes you feel like a, you feel like you're living a Jimmy Buffett song. <laughs> um, it's absolutely beautiful. They, they're not really known for beaches per se. There are some beaches that you can go to there, and some beaches you can drive to, which are pretty nice. But it's just, it's just a vibe, guys. It's just a, a nice romantic place. The locals are so friendly there. You can't really tell the locals from the tourists. Everybody's just friendly there. I just love it. You can rent a bike. You can rent a golf cart. You can rent some scooters. Ride around the island. Find your own little cubby hole somewhere by the edge of the water. I, I mean, there really are a lot of places where you can actually get away by yourself and on this you island. love seafood, you will love Key West. Yeah. So much to do snorkeling. Parasailing, jet skis. There's a lot for couples to do there. As Miss Traveler said, taking the sunset cruise out there. It's just it's just a really laid back, very relaxed atmosphere. I mean it's just time stops when you're here. Yes, and make sure you stop at Carmen to get you a cheesecake on the stick. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the uh, key lime pie cheesecake. Oh key lime pie cheesecake. Okay. <laughs> it's so good. Make sure you go to All right guys, so moving on to number five on our list is 
Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, San Juan. I love it there. It's so muy caliente. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, Puerto Rico is really, really a beautiful island, guys. Um, even just cruising into the port town of San Juan or old San Juan is such a romantic day trip. It's so lit. You have to do San Juan. Whatever you do, if you a cruiser like we are, you crazy about cruising, you have to do San Juan. It's so romantic. So old San Juan is actually uh, outlined by the remnants of the old fort that used to be there. And there still are forts at the top of the at the top of the hill, but you can just walk among the cobblestone roads and see all the old buildings and see the actual remnants of the existing wall that used to be there. Go up and visit the um, uh, the the castles, the forts that are that are still there, and just exploring Old San Juan in itself is absolutely amazing. And such a romantic day. There's a lot to do there. You can stop and get sorbet. You're gonna notice there's a lot of cats there. I'm not sure why, but there's cats everywhere, <laughs> and there's cobblestone streets, and the people are very, very friendly there, and the food is good. There's a lot of street food as well, like up and down the streets. It's just off the hook. Yeah. And besides Old San Juan, just the rest of the island is absolutely beautiful too. It's mm -hmm. they have a beautiful rainforest in Puerto Rico. And of course, they have some beautiful, wonderful beach towns um, that are around Puerto Rico. Now you'll find being on the, the Caribbean Sea side of the island, um, will tend to have a little more friendly beaches for you. Mm -hmm. But uh, on the Atlantic side, like Condado, I, yeah, Condado, Condado. Um, I, I think that is almost just as romantic, but it's hard to enjoy the beach there because you get some really big waves coming in. It's best to just sit and watch watch the waves on that side because it's so so rough. It yeah, seems rough here. but it's beautiful watching this, the the waves crash in and, mm -hmm. and you see people out there surfing and, and all beautiful. that good stuff. San Juan so. is absolutely beautiful. You have to get there. If you are an avid cruiser and you love to cruise, you have to go out. San Juan almost was my favorite, but my favorite uh is different puerto rico is so diverse with the rainforest with the old san juan neighborhoods mm -hmm. with the beautiful beach towns there's some old uh local towns where you can get uh local authentic food yes. cooked right then and there i mean it's just, it's just a great place to explore and the people really are super duper friendly they are i love san juan all right guys moving on to number four on the list number four we're going to jamaica man yeah man <laughs> <laughs> So Jamaica is on our list for number four. We're going to say in particular, the town of Negril. Negril. Um, you know, and there are other beautiful, wonderful resorts, but we are specifically talking about romantic destinations. So we're going to zero in on Negril. Mm -hmm. And what makes it so special is Negril is they have absolutely beautiful water, beautiful beaches there, mm -hmm. but they have a, a lot, a lot, a lot of great resorts for, for uh, couples. Even if you're a non-cruiser, you could just fly in and stay in one of the all-inclusive resorts. And if you're interested, make, make sure you give us a call at 877-697-4470. Or you can reach us online at www.mr-traveler.com. And that way we can accommodate either your cruise or resort. So they have a lot of, they have a ton of uh, all-inclusive resorts mm -hmm. in Jamaica. And there's a lot in the grill. And it's very secluded, it's a very safe town because it's such a tourist destination. Um, you know, there's plenty of uh, police presence there, things like that to keep you safe. And the resorts are absolutely amazing. Uh, you can do things like Breathless and, and Secrets. Uh, hedonism is a whole other thing. <laughs> That's for couples who are so in love. And there's, and there's no and there's no children's there. No children allowed in hedonism. But you want to think about it, since this is a Valentine's Day edition, make sure you Check out Heatonism. Yep, and then, uh, you know, obviously on that side of town, you want to go to see Rick's Cafe with their world famous uh, sunsets there. Mm -hmm. It's a great little hangout at night. And uh, it's just a really great place. They do bonfires on the beach at night and just, you know, live reggae music. Go find yourself an authentic jerk stand oh. uh, for the jerk chicken on the road. I'm, I'm best, telling you. The best chicken we ever had in and our you've life. You've never been able to duplicate it and or find anybody that has <laughs> been able to duplicate it <laughs> since. We eat a jerk chicken all the time. We can't come close to Jamaica. And we've traveled the world. Nobody comes closer. 
yeah, I cannot find that church again. <laughs> you know, but it's the it's the wood that they use. It's the special wood that they use the and, the, and the seasonings. Mm -hmm. And they smoke it, smoke it, smoke it all day long. So mm -hmm. it just infuses that flavor in there. It's so wonderful and great. And the grill is a beautiful romantic destination it's where you dreamy. just do nothing. It's dreamy. It's beautiful. The sand is white. The water is even better. It's perfect. I would say that is one of the most perfect places for couples. Guys, moving on to number three. Number three. Oh, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Let's go to St. Thomas. This is Travis' favorite port in the world. <laughs> it's St. <Saint> Thomas. <laughs> I love St. Thomas, guys. Mm -hmm. And if you have never been, if you have been, comment below. But if you've never been, you have never seen something so beautiful as either sailing into or sailing away from Charlotte mm -hmm. Amelie uh, at night. Uh, the town uh, the port town there in St. Thomas is so beautiful just the, the homes on the mountainside and you see the lit up and it's just a beautiful beautiful place and if you were wondering about all the ports that we are speaking of you could just click above and I'm going to attach all of our videos to up at the top so you can take a look at them so uh, yeah St. Thomas it does have a, a few good resorts they have uh, they have one right near the port mm -hmm. there uh, but there are a few that are scattered around but st. Thomas is gonna be in my opinion more of a town where you're gonna look to to rent a villa yes um, it's nice to cruise there but you don't want to leave yes when you go to st. Thomas it's one of those places that you have got to see at night it's beautiful so and and again they do have a lot of great hotels on property but I would really recommend getting a villa here perhaps one overlooking uh, Megan's Bay it's absolutely stunning St. Thomas is one of the safest places that you can cruise to or stay at it's the most friendliest places that we ever been one of the most friendliest places it's hardly any crime there the locals are very friendly and the food is good as well then you can walk all day all night yep. if you if you was to stay overnight it's so safe and some of the most beautiful beaches, obviously Megan's Bay is always in the top 10 most beautiful beaches in the yeah. world. It always is on that list. It's also a good place to take your kids. If you want to go snorkeling and you want to be in safe waters, I would recommend St. Thomas. Yeah. And then my favorite beach in in, in, in history in is the there, world. which is Co it's just Cokie yeah. Beach um, there in St. Thomas. Absolutely great snorkeling, absolutely beautiful water. Thousands and mm, thousands of fish. As soon as you put your snorkel gear in the water, all you see is fish. Yep, absolutely beautiful. It's the most fish we ever seen anywhere. Yep. Now, so one thing about St. Thomas is if you're staying there is that once it gets dark, that's it. Everything shuts down. About four o'clock, all the shops shut down, and you're like, uh oh. Yeah. So <laughs> really nothing to do. Nothing if you're on a resort, you're okay because you got restaurants and everything like that. But if you're gonna rent a villa, you definitely want to make sure that you stock up on your groceries and whatever you need. Yeah, because the clothes, the store also closes early before five o'clock. Everything closes before dark because there's hills and they don't like you driving around in hills. I love night. driving the hills. <laughs> Not at night. <laughs> <laughs> So, and, and another great thing about St. Thomas staying there is that it's a short ferry ride. They go over to the island of St. John right next door, Beautiful. Um, which is really great. Uh, a great deal of the island is a nature preserve and has fantastic snorkeling and beaches. Just it's very absolutely virgin. amazing. Very, very virgin over there. Very rural, um, not really built up. It's, it's very, it's not, it's not city at all. It's more country. Yeah, and that's a and that's a short ferry right over from the Red Hook Ferry, or from downtown Charlotte Amelie. There's a ferry there, but the Red Hook one is a little bit quicker. I'll and, attach the video right here so you can watch it. And you can get to some of the other islands out there too. You can go visit the Soggy Dollar Bar, which mm -hmm. is sitting out there on a little island in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. But um, St. Thomas is a really great, really fun place, and just absolutely beautiful beaches. Next one, All right, guys. We're getting in the home stretch here. Number two. Number two. Number two. St. Martin. St. Martin. When you say St. Thomas, you think about St. Martin because they're they're different but alike. Yeah, St. Martin is absolutely beautiful. The smallest country in the world that shares two borders, which is be your French and your Dutch. They split the island in half. It's like two vacations in one spot. It's St. Martin or St. Martin, depending on which one you do. Yes. Um, both are equally as beautiful. Obviously, it's the same same island. 
And St. Martin has a lot to offer them. First of all, they have a lot of resorts um, and they are rebuilding from the hurricane a few years ago, um, which did a lot of damage on there, but they're rebuilding. Um, they're putting their power sources underground now, as opposed to having overground wires, which is why they lost a lot of power. Mm -hmm. um, but they have rebuilt, uh, you know, the Oyster Bay area got hit really bad. So a lot of those hotels and resorts are rebuilding and they're ready to take you on and start building up their clientele some more. Mm -hmm. So St. Martin has a great nightlife. Yes, they do. Unlike St. Thomas, it does not close at night. No. St. <laughs> Thomas is quiet at night. St. Martin is not. Everything is open. It's a different vibe in St. Martin. You have to love to party at night if you want to go to St. Martin, but during the day it's romantic. Well, you know, there are romantic spots to find there too at night. At night, yes it is. <laughs> yes it is. It's a lot of shopping there too. So if you love to shop, you want to go to St. Martin. If you ever wanted to try a great nude beach, <laughs> go to St. Martin. That's over there too. It is. They have a lot of nude beaches up there, but the thing is there's a lot of elderly people that's on there. So they they feeling free. So, so that's exactly what you'll see on the nude beach. And, a lot of elderly And St. Martin have a lot of um yacht charters mm -hmm. and, and things like that that you can do for for the day, which is super duper romantic and really not that expensive to do a, a sunset private uh, charter in St. Martin to just go out and have a, a meal prepared and go see the sunset. Very, very romantic. Again, the nightlife is great. The food is great there um, and absolutely beautiful beaches, uh, just just like St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. And also you can get some to some other islands also from um, from St. Martin very easily uh, via ferries, like you can go to St. Bart's for the day if you like. Yes, we have done that and we really enjoyed it. If you want to go uh, jet set with the rich and famous, head on <laughs> over to, to St. Martin. I believe you can also get over to Virgin Gorda from there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, you can get to a lot of islands from St. Martin. They have a lot of ferries that, that leave out of there going to different islands. Mm -hmm. So if you can go there for a week or something and maybe take a couple days to explore some other islands, that's a good option too. Yeah, you could just stop in St. Martin and take off and go somewhere else. I love it. We love you, St. Martin. St. Martin. St. Martin. <laughs> As in number one on the list. Number one. And it was hard to narrow. For, for you, it was easy. But it was hard for me to narrow down which one of the islands I was number one. Yes, number one. But we will look down to. This is the number one place you want to go. Put it on your bucket list. Make sure you get there, even if you single. Make sure you go there because your eyes won't believe what you're seeing. Let's go to Maui. Let's go to Maui, Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, Maui is just the best place that we have ever been to as far as romantic destinations. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's so, I mean, just jam packed with activities. Obviously, you're in Hawaii, so they have beautiful, breathtaking beaches, mm -hmm. great snorkeling. You can see turtles and all kinds of other beautiful fish like that's out there. They have the great excursion out to the Molokini Crater out there oh where you can see a, a vast abundance of sea life. Um, then of course they have the road to Hana that you can take. That is just amazing. Which is one of the best drives I have ever done. Um, we we rented that Jeep and dropped the top and just drove that thing and it's like 300 some odd twists and turns on there. And as you're uh, doing that journey, is just waterfalls and cliffs and beautiful foliage and birds and all kind of I, it's awesome and then on the way you have to stop at this little store they feed you and you know it's it's just a mom and pop place and you sit at the picnic table and you have your lunch on the road to Hana and you finish up i just love my life. it was one of my one of my favorite places to go very very romantic my eyes didn't believe what i was seeing Especially the turtles that were bigger than us. I, yes. I can't believe it. These turtles were, were like storying. <laughs> they were so big and huge and ancient. I was like, wow. Yeah, absolutely. And the service is impeccable. Mm -hmm. The cleanliness of the island is beyond reproach. Um, and there, I, I mean, there's something for everybody there. They have affordable properties, you know, that are moderate price properties, and then they have the sky's the limit properties on there. Um, but nothing's off limits to you guys. I mean, and the, and the sides of the islands are so different. You go one way again over the road to Hana and go that way and it's all mountains and beautiful scenery and you go the other way. It's nothing but beautiful beaches and mansions and all that kind of stuff over there and beautiful resorts. 
Um, so what, what a great, awesome day uh, to spend in Maui. It was hard for me to choose between Maui and Kauai. Kauai was my other, was my other choice, and I, and I absolutely love Kauai because it's they, they call it the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. It is the Grand Canyon. And it's the island that you'll see in a lot of movies where you see really dramatic uh, cliffs rising out of the sea. Mm -hmm. That is Maui. They did a lot of the Pirates of the Caribbean there. What's your movie with your movie you like with Adam Sandler? The, uh, Fifty First Dates, right? Fifty First Dates. Is that there? Yes, it was. It was, there? It, was it was made in Hawaii, and the, the, sure. the drama of the waves crashing against the cliffs, and the cliffs are all black, and the water is just ice clear, turquoise is amazing. Uh, I can't even explain it. The Jurassic Park entrance. Mm -hmm. That yes. is Hawaii Coast. <laughs> That's Hawaii. Um, Fantasy Island, the waterfall beginning of Fantasy Island, that is Kauai. That is it. So and it's been Mr. great. Mr. Traveler's Island live in Kona, and um, it's beautiful there as well. Yeah, on the big mm -hmm. on the big island. She's on the big island. But for romantic destinations, none mm -hmm. can beat Maui. Maui has my heart. That's number one for me and Mr. Traveler. That is the most romantic place we've ever been, and you have to go to see the expensive. Uh, I don't even know what to call it, like fields of flowers. I've never seen so many flowers in my life. I have never seen so many beautiful trees with flowers in my entire life. It's Maui. Maui is the deal. So that's what the beautiful thing about cruising is to me is because you get to get a little bit of a vibe of the island and figure out for yourself whether or not this is a place that you want to come back to. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some of these places you get off the boat and there's guys walking around with machine guns everywhere I'm like yeah, yeah I may not want to come back here and spend a few days <laughs> just saying but another thing when we went to Maui we met some locals that was on the beach I asked them I said well how did you guys move here so beautiful they said we came to visit and we never left <laughs> so that was awesome I, I don't blame them yeah absolutely mm -hmm. so um and, and we promise we're going to get to some more of these islands and spend some time in resorts for you guys. That's yeah, we're going that's, to start doing some. That's kind of on our bucket list, but we yeah. love we love cruising so much. <laughs> it's so hard. It's hard to pull away from cruising because we love it so much. But we're going to start doing some different things. Yes, we are. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. We thank hope you that so you have the best Valentine's Day ever. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody! That's Make sure you enjoy <laughs> who you with, and if you're not, do some self care for yourself. That's right. It's all about the L-O-V-E today, That's guys. Right. That's right. Life short. Have fun. See the world. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.